Alright, yeah, fine, you. Okay, morning guys, how you doing? Hope you're okay. Um, today I'm here in uh, Wareham in Dorset and um, this place has got a huge, huge amount of um, history about it. It goes right back to the Vikings, the Saxons, Romans, medieval times. It's actually a, uh, a walled town and um, you can still kind of walk around the remnants of the wall still it's still quite visible um, so that's really um, interesting and it's a lovely little town it's managed to keep its kind of um, market town feel about it it still has a market here on the quay on a Saturday morning which is great and also most of the shops are kind of independent shops so that's nice you know, not the big chains and all of that so anyways today I'm here by the river, I believe it's the river Froome, Froome, and I'm just capturing um, down on the quay when I get the pub with the river, and the boat's in the background, so I'll do one on the bridge here, and I'll drop down to the shore down by the river there and um, take one down there. Um, at the minute I'm doing a, a long exposure, I'm on bold mode in F11. ISO 100 and I'm shooting at about 18 mil. So um, it's just cooking away in the back of the camera at the minute and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's a bit nippy this morning. Okay, so I got me first shot and that's, uh, that's come out really well. I've got a nice long exposure of about two minutes. So that's, that's smooth all the water out. And um, here's the thing, I forgot to check the sunrise, so I missed that. It's just coming up now, but the clouds are all around, so it's kind of fizzled out a bit. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, that's a big mistake, but there you go, it's all part of the learning. So check your sunset, sort of sunset, what am I saying? It's half six in the morning, sunrise, sunrise time. There you go, I'm tired. So again, I'm just going to do another shot here. Um, again, do another long exposure, probably a couple of minutes, and we'll see how we go. I actually came here last night with the wife, and I took some night shots, exactly the same where I am now at night, and it's beautiful. You have kind of like um, the lights here make it look really golden, and got some nice starbursts as well, and a bit of smoothness on the water as well. So. Um, what I'll do is I'll just pop them up at the end as well with the, um, with the photos I'm taking today so you can have a go and see which ones you prefer. Okay, I'm just going to show you on the back of the camera what the um, pictures come out like. There you go, I don't know if you can see that. We've got this lovely smooth milky effect here. As you can see, there's not a lot of colour in, in the sky now, there's some kind of clouded over a bit. But it's still a bit there, so hopefully it might pop back through again. Anyway, really pleased with that. Okay, I've um, come down onto the shore now, down the river, and I think it must be like a slightly tidal because we're not actually that far from the sea, and the rocks I'm standing on are really sippy and 
kind of muddy. Uh, yeah. So I've got to, to be careful about that. Right. So anyways, um, the shot I've got is behind me. I'm really lucky because if you look up in the sky, you see the clouds are coming over the top of the church, over the top of the pub. So I'm whacked on a little uh, ND filter for that just to slow the shutter speed down to try and get a long exposure over the um, over the pub and to slow the water down so hopefully that will come out okay I'll let you know in a minute okay so what I've done is I've um, come on F11 ISO 100 again shooting about 18 mil so I've got the pub the river the sky coming over the top all slowed down with a 10 stop ND filter and we'll see what it looks like. The last one looked really good, so fingers crossed it will be uh, another good one. But it's such a lovely morning here, it's really peaceful and quiet, and there's no wind, which is great because it's been quite windy the last week or so. I'm just sat here thinking the bridge over there which you probably see on a, on a time lapse is obviously quite a modern bridge although they've kind of put the arches in to give it a kind of oldie effect it's, it's just a kind of a sign of the times these days where when they build something like a bridge they just fill it all with concrete not like the old days where it's all bricks and stone and it looked really good it's kind of a bit out of keeping now with, with the traditional pub and the river and the town. But um, I guess it's kind of has to be strong enough to hold the traffic these days. It's not like I don't know, three or four hundred years ago, it's just horse and carts and stuff like that. It's all big heavy lorries and buses and all that kind of thing. So I mean, it looks okay, but it kind of don't quite fit in with this, with the key and the the oldie worldy feel of the place. You know, this is the best time of the day, you know. I remember when I was a postie, I used to love that kind of going to work early in the morning and then getting out on your delivery and watching the day kind of unfold from an early start. And it's like that now, you know, most people are in bed, tucked up in bed asleep, maybe getting up having a cup of tea or something like that. But, it's just such a lovely time of day, especially on a day like today where it's, it's nice and quiet, and calm. You know, it's, a, it's a nice day. You can't beat it, you can't beat it. Just getting outside in the fresh air just sets you up for the rest of the day. Okay guys, uh, well, I think that's it for today. I've had a, I've had a great time. And um, so if you're ever down this way, go in Dorset, wear them, check it out. Lovely little town. But other than that, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll put the shots up I took today, or the images I've taken today, I'll, I'll stick up at the end there. And um, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.